morning, Michael Walsh and Roger Norgel from Norwal Farms. Uh, we're processing the sheep and goats today. The goats, well, they're all due for their second uh, booster on Lepto. Um, and then the sheep uh, are getting dewormed today, and they're also getting a dose of coward for coccidia because the stool results showed that. And we're also checking feet on everybody. Um, I'm surprised. I knew a couple of the goats needed their feet trimmed, but... Um, so far, everybody's needed it done, so it's a good time to do it. So, thanks for joining us. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and uh, hit the like button after the video. That helps us. Ring the notification bell to be alerted of any new videos that are upcoming. And if you would please leave a comment and uh, share this video with a friend. Hey, girl. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to check their feet first. And we'll just focus on the foot. Now you can see this. This is the heel, and it should be up here. It's well grown down. And this is the wall. And that's the sole. So this is all extra growth that just hasn't worn off. Hers aren't terribly overgrown, but enough that it could cause a problem. Just like trimming your fingernails. Turn this heel off. We actually tie them up by the horns because it's not painful. It doesn't choke them. And once they're restrained, they usually, emphasis on usually, stand still. We need some WD-40 on these. There we go. That's pretty good. Turn this heel down. So this is an automatic syringe. It, you can set it from 1 to 5 cc's. The dose is 2. And it has a safety on it. So um, push that down and now I can give the injection. It goes in the muscle. So that's where the femoral vein and nerve are. So I want to give in the back of this muscle here. And then once you give it that comes up and that's a safety so you can't give a double dose or you don't miss any. We don't have working pens uh, for the small number we have so what works pretty well for us right now is we bring them behind this first gate go up in the corner and then we can just squeeze them there and catch them. Uh, I've already done the two Jacobs but I forgot to check their feet when they were in here so uh, we'll go ahead and process the rest of them. her first because she just gets vaccinations. The way I know she's done. This is Clostridium C and D tetanus. Um, protects them from overeating disease and uh, the tetanus toxoid or tetanus disease. Which 
leptocirrhosis. It's not normally a disease of sheep. But my veterinarian, my large animal veterinarian, has seen benefits from vaccinating sheep and goats for lepto. Um, it just helps reduce uh, incidence of mastitis and, and other issues. So based upon his recommendations, I'm using it. Um, and it's a relatively inexpensive vaccine. So we get a dose of two, uh, two doses, about three, four weeks apart, and then an annual booster after that. So that was Shirley's first dose on the Lepto. She'll be boosted in three weeks. Second dose on the Jacobs, and it'll also be the second dose on the uh, Dorpers. You little rascal. time a sheep's gotten out. So I gotta wire that gate. Good girl. Dose oral dosing syringe. The dewormer is Cydectin, it's in the ivermectin family. So their dose is five mils, so there's ten, there's five. So you just dial this in to this mark, and then you just dial it out each time, and that way you don't have to refill every time. These aren't too bad, but they're a little toe growth. I just do better if I trim them now. Trim them now, and it'll help them maintain the proper foot. The sheep's on their butt, they usually sit still. I wouldn't trust that the Jacobs would. The burpers are pretty quiet. Like I said, these aren't bad, but there's just enough that I think they benefit having them shaped up. I have the flock watch in it, but I'm using my phone to. Uh, record so I, I can't use that on uh, to record their numbers so I'm just gonna write them down it's like that you there scraped her nose on a piece of wire or something it should be all right the bigger you she's not gonna get dewormed but she will get covered
it and raised on the mother as a triplet. Okay, we got that finished. Um, pretty warm. You can see I had a blue shirt. Now it's black from all the sweat. But uh, anyway, got them all done. We're gonna set up, finish setting up the paddock. I've got most of it set up. I just have to do a connecting fence because uh, we gotta let them in here for water because we moved the goats to the north field and took the water tank up there. So uh, anyway, get that set up. Already and get them set up this up. paddock. Uh, goes down there just beyond the shade and then cuts over to the uh, permanent fence over there. Um, I'm just going to take this uh, line back here. We're not going to use it. And then I'll set a, uh, a super fence two up from that corner over to there. And we'll let them out here. Got it all set up here. Uh, that way it's hard to find a spot where you can put those posts in. Um, 
I think I was watching a video on YouTube and it said to just find a plant because it's softer there. Battery cable like there. things connects. What we'll do is we'll connect this wire to that one. That's how we'll energize it. And then when we want to go in there, we just come up and take this off and that takes a charge out of that fence. <laughs> um, and this one, uh, I'll actually hook it up now. And it comes off the here at the permanent, permanent fence. fence. You see the paddock goes up the hill there and then it goes down towards the shed. So we're going to connect this one up. And the top wire and then the bottom three are hot wires. So we'll just go to the top one up here. I heard it snap, so I know it's working. So this fence is electrified right now. They're all going pretty well. There's a path cut down there, so Jacob's like to jump. I said those blue posts and that white line's not energized. Now I gotta let the dogs in. Come on. Come on. Go. Come on, Lily. Lily, come on. She's not the bravest. Garrett, come on. Go. Good boy. That's a good boy. He goes into the doctor Monday to the orthopedic. He's going to probably have to have surgery. You have to herd Lily like a goat. You can't catch her unless you put her in a pen. There she goes. She knows the concept of open gates. Now she ought to go out the other gate. Ah, 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 ah. Lily. <laughs> Lily would not come up, so I'm not going to force it. You got to work with what you got. So she can stay out here today. Um, she'll survive. It's kind of hot. She'll get thirsty. She'll get hungry. Sheep and goats come up here, then I'll open the gate and let her in. Uh, there's a myth out there in the guardian dog world that unsocialized dogs make better guardians, and that is a complete misnomer. Um, it's a disservice to the dog because they're fearful. You can't handle them, and when you do have to handle them, it really stresses them out. So, uh, anybody out there, we didn't know. I thought she was socialized, and she's not. Um, so, anybody out there, you're contemplating getting guardian dogs make sure they're socialized as puppies and we'll walk on a leash because she won't Garrett and Dylan do and it's the difference between night and day last thing we do is we energize this last section of fence I just heard it snap so got a good connection so this will last them um, two maybe three days tops and then we'll just go on down the next section here. We've got a good mixture of uh, grass and some alfalfa. There's some chicory and plantain in there too. So this is a really good pasture for them. Got the portable shade which is helpful. And they can go back up to the shed and get their water from the automatic water. Garrett's out here. Like I said, Shirley's going to have to wait her turn. Uh, she didn't get with the program so anyway thank you for joining us today if you haven't please subscribe to our channel and uh, hit the notification bell so that you're notified of any new videos as they come out and uh, please hit the like button that helps our uh, channel and uh, if you would please leave a comment and uh, share this video with a friend thanks again for joining us at Norwalk Farm Garrett says hello and goodbye. He's going to rest up until Monday. Then he goes in to have his shoulder evaluated.